All right. So now, trustees, I'm going to talk about assessment. Assessment is a very, very important, important, important topic. Uh, SUNY is definitely going to judge us on how well we can talk about this because assessment will equal accountability, and accountability is what keeps us open. So uh, one of the things we talked about in our assessment piece, you can find this on page 216 of the application, is NWEA, and that is part of something called the Northwest Evaluation Assessment, um, sorry, Association, that's who puts out the assessment called MAP, which is the measure, Measures Academic Progress. Okay. This is a instrument or a tool that we will use in order to judge where our students are coming in. We know that uh, students coming into Tech International Charter School will be very low, um, will be very low academically, many of them. I have some alarming statistics for you here. Only 28% of City School District 10 are at or above grade level. That means only 28% of the entire of the entire school district has has met those goals of being at or above grade level, which is completely alarming and tells us that we're going to be dealing with kids who are of age to be in our school entering at sixth grade but really their reading level or their math skills will probably be more like a third or fourth grade, if not lower. So we have a lot of work ahead of us. This, um, this instrument will help us to judge where children are and where we would like to see them go. It is a computer-based tool, and what it does is it, it customizes the questions based on the number of answers that this child gets right. So if they're going along and they're taking the test and they're answering the questions and then all of a sudden they don't get one right, the computer will readjust itself and go back and give them an easier question. When all is said and done, we'll get a true measure of where they actually are academically. And this is in English language arts and math. The other thing is that within Tech International Charter School, we will use a variety of testing uh, resources or assessment resources. And that can range anything from a teacher-made test or a quiz to a textbook quiz to um, a, standardized set, a standardized test that is set by the New York State. And all of these things will gear children into being prepared to take Regents exams. Yes. Um, I've read that, I mean, I know that they're going to be about 28%, but we've told SUNY in one of our documents that we're going to get our kids in the, by the second year by the time they're in seventh grade, we're going to get them up to a... 75%. 75%. And this is part of our accountability plan. I'm not sure what page that is on, but it is called the accountability plan. And going any lower than 75% would say a lot about how we believe in ourselves. And at this point, many of the schools, many of the charter schools are saying 75% and or above. We know it's going to be challenging, but it is possible as long as we can hook the children into I mean, what it's they need really to be focusing on. Really challenging, really challenging. Extremely. I, I can't. Icon got up to what I think. Icon's um, test scores they were sixty six percent out of compared to the entire district of twenty nine percent. So that means they haven't met the SUNY goals. They haven't met. We don't know what their goals are, but they haven't met our SUNY goals. So, so. That you can risk being shut down. If you can't get up, get up to that if level. If you can't achieve that level. But we don't have a choice. We want to make sure that we are rigorous and we want to make sure that SUNY knows that we mean business and that we're dedicated to what it is that we're going to do. So if we had said 65%, we would have been shortchanging ourselves. So speaking of rigor, how does core knowledge fit into this? Core knowledge. Core knowledge is the actual curriculum that we are using as our foundation. We are adding and supplementing to the curriculum that has already been written that aligns with the common core standards which have been adopted this year by several states and soon within a couple of a couple of years the nation will adopt these standards so it's core knowledge which is the curriculum and common core which are the standards and we've decided to select common knowledge because it's very specific about what it is that students should know by the end of sixth grade and they go through eighth grade at this point um, we have been able to use many of their ideas, and even in our English language arts curriculum framework, we used actually a map that came straight from them because it was something that was specific and I believe attainable. And we have used many of our wonderful, um, many of our wonderful supporters and also advisory board members to help us develop a curriculum that was based upon that. All right. 